Nobody is an expert in something that doesn't exist. So, you know, it's kind of up to you. You will hit roadblocks. the idea for Moonlight uh, really through an organic story of playing kind of shadow play with my daughter and I thought hey you know what there must be something that's online or something I could buy little attachments um, at the time I was thinking little tiny silhouette cutouts that I could use to make our stories even more fun um, and to my surprise I couldn't find anything so that was kind of the seed of uh, that I planted to make this product so while you're projecting, um, you have all of the words on the screen of your phone to the story to accompany the image. So if you turn the page, um, and I'm now I'm on the shooting star page, there's also a bunch of different sound effects you could add to the story. So in this case, you know, here's the shooting star noise. So you can hear um, the different noises, so you can like focus things to make it, you know, bigger or smaller. So how I came up with the idea for the kayak was simply out of necessity. I'm a backcountry paddler. I got into kayaking over canoeing, and I was all excited about how fast they were and how cool they were until I hit the first portage. And then it didn't work very well. I played with what was the difference between a kayak and a canoe, and I started measuring, and it, it basically, it came down to the yoke system. So I decided to build a yoke. And I was like measuring the depths of the canoes. I was like, okay, depth of kayaks. And we had this difference of four or five inches. Yeah. Went, so that's the, the difference because with the, the whole of the cockpit, it would be down here, your face would be inside it. So essentially all we really need to do is raise it. I worked for Google for seven and a half years um, in a variety of different roles. So um, that was actually like my path, right? Like I had thought that I'll stay at Google. Um, I was very happy in my job. I had given myself to the end of the year, uh, which was this past December. And I said, if I'm not making any money by then, then, you know, it's time to go back to work. So, you know, you have to really kind of plan through your finances because it's hard. You, you know, I, I sold my house. I was renting a, like this house that, that we're in now and you make sacrifices that are, you know, this, I, I love where I live. I love everything I do, but you know, you change things up in your lifestyle and you're hoping that it will pay off in the end. So yeah, it was hard, but, but now it's like paying off. You know, the whole process is, uh, it's been really interesting. Um, I can see that it could be wrought with setbacks, but I've sort of enjoyed that. You do the 3D printing and you think, okay, that's it, I've nailed it, and we're done, and we're perfect, and then you test it, and something doesn't work just right, and it's time for tweaking, and uh, you know, there's all that emotion involved in it, and you're, okay, I'm there. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, now I'm there. And even that, that was fun. That was a fun part of the process. How's the comfort on it, in terms of actually using it? Well, of course I'm gonna say it's the best. <laughs> You know, maybe uh, in the future we can come up with something with a maybe a gel or a neoprene pad here. Probably a really good idea. A couple people who bought these have mentioned that. When's that coming out? So that's something we're gonna have to work on. If anything's inspiration, it's her. Like I want her to also feel like, hey, like look at my mom. Like she did this. Like I can do anything. Initially, it was just for me. I just wanted to make my trip easier. And then once I started using it, I realized, you know, this is, this looks like a solution.